What's up? This is your man Steph, and today we're playing God's Basement. So this is a horror game that's supposed to be coming out in October. Well, this is the demo of it. You know what I'm saying? It's one. Of, this is the second game that I done found out is coming in October. I'm very excited for another horror game. Look real good. Graphics are dope as fuck. Have not read anything on it on purpose just so that I could get a nice experience out of this game. Is that open or is locked? Wait. That's locked. Okay, guess I'm going this way. No, I'm not. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, the demo ain't even start yet. Oh, okay. So that was this just. A, oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's gonna take a while to load up. So I'm gonna just go ahead and talk to y'all. How you doing, man? How's your day going? You see how I start off with a question for you, not talking about me? It's because I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the game already loaded. All right, then. Well, that's just our conversation going out the window. I was trying to talk to y'all. You know. I don't, I'll never get a chance to talk to my audience. But this is God's basement. Why is it called God's basement when I'm in office? Why the, why not God's office? Step into my office, my son. Let me judge you accordingly. You know what this remind me of, yo? Can I crouch? Hell no, I can't crouch. This remind me of a game that I saw Mark play. He did a couple videos on it. I think he played the demo and then played the full game. So he did like three or four videos on it. It was what you played as this person in his office. You had to close up shop, but this damn ghost was trying to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Look, just like that. Why the hell am I at the receptionist desk? Am I being judged? Hell yeah. Don't worry. Everything will be explained soon. You might not be able to remember everything about your past just yet, but those memories will return soon. You might be wondering who else is here, but you'll meet the inhabitants of God's basement soon enough. That don't make me I sound right. Might seem suspicious, but for now, I'm going to need you to trust me. Whenever you're ready, exit the room and keep walking until you find the room with the blue light. From there, I'll provide further instructions. Also, if you see or hear anything strange or unusual, ignore it to the best of your ability. Oh no. I'll talk to you once you reach the designated It's gonna be one of these games. Good luck. Oh damn. So anyway, I'm guessing we being judged by God. You know what I'm saying? And we got a dark past that we don't remember. You know what I'm saying? So we got to remember it by going through this damn PT kind of game. And it's going to be one of them games that's just going to be throwing a bunch of noises and shit at us. And we got to ignore it. Look, the last game, the only game that I done had some shit like that happen to me was Witch's House. And that was an RPG game. They threw a knife at me. And I thought I had to dodge it like a boss. But nope. Instead, it was an illusion. And you weren't supposed to react to it. You were supposed to just ignore it. Let the knife go right through you, man. Instead, I fucking dodged it and got crushed by a rock. And this game is basically doing the same shit. So don't react to anything. So I'm James Young. Frank Young is my dad. So I'm guessing that I'm a part of my damn family. You know what I'm saying? My family's business. Lock. Is this the office where everybody died? Two dead and fatal crash. Fatal accident occurred last weekend. Currently being investigated. Reports say another couple along with their infant grandson driving along an interstate highway. The driver lost control. Swerved off the road. Crashed in a tree. Retired elderly man by the name of Frank Young. Oh, wow. My dad died. So who was left with the business? You know what? How much you want to bet that I planned that hit? You know what I'm saying? I killed my dad. The grandson. My my. It was, it was probably my, my sister's son or some shit. Just to get the business, you know what I'm saying? That's probably what happened. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's my dark past. And if I'm right, I should be a storyteller in this bitch. So, can't read nothing. Music kicked up. Locked still. And it can't open that. All right, I'm leaving. What's this? God's basement guy, view text. Okay. Welcome to the afterlife. Don't remember everything. Oh, I died too. Okay. Your memories will return shortly. Lastly, trust the operator. Okay. Can I put it down? All right. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it. Makes me feel safe when I can just put something down. Dude said if I wanted to leave this bitch, I could just 
exit through the damn exit and he'll provide me with further instructions but ain't that what I did cuz I did as don't know oh was I supposed to turn that on guess we're watching TV that looked like donkey from Shrek But why is he just sitting in a damn spot like that? And I don't even think that's a donkey. I think that's a rabbit, y'all. Okay, so he ain't doing shit. What's this? Important information, James Young dead. So I'm dead. Mother, Sarah Young, Father, Neil Young. Wait, so who was Frank Young? Was that not my dad? Was that my granddad or some shit? Date of birth, March 9th, 1997. Cause of death not available. Huh. But when did I die? You know what I'm saying? James Young was raised by his grandmother for most of his life. Hmm. Was I the one, was I the grandson that died? Or did I get somebody else killed? Huh. Strange answers that need to be questioned. That was backwards. I was supposed to say, you know what I meant. Y'all know. Oh, there's blood on this now. Oh, so they X'd out the name of my granddad and my brother, yo. That was the grandson that died. Lock. Oh, look what happened. The fucker moved. Did he move again? No. So this is going to be one of them damn random games, much like PT. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just going to be a bunch of bunch of bullshit. All right, so I'm guessing that I just got to go back and forth through these damn hallways. And I'm guessing random stuff is just going to be jumping out at me. Is that one of them things I got to ignore? Oh, a key. Thank you. Right here. Yep. How did you know, Steph? Because I'm such a boss. Okay, well. That's my lunch bag, but I'm forgetting it anyway. Okay. Nah, they said ignore it. They said, no, nah, I'm going to go ahead anyway. They said ignore stuff. Or maybe it was the sounds or the seeing things. I don't think rooms count. That's, that's got to be ignored. I don't care what the hell you say. That's got to be ignored. Ooh, a hammer. Can't wait to knock off the wood. Knock off wood. Can't wait to knock that off and be a dumbass and let some shit out. Like I always do in these damn games. Here we go. Oh, you gotta hold it? What kind of bullshit is that? If you are new to God's basement, trust the operator. He will guide you. Why you not guiding me? Why you letting me be stupid? Oh, no. I don't want to be in this bitch. Oh no, I don't like this people. I don't like this people. Anything? It's a nice looking game. I'm gonna say that right now. The, the atmosphere is very on point because I'm in the office and I don't know what the hell is going on. Kind of nervous. What the fuck? Oh shit! Ooh, ooh, ooh no! Oh no! I just saw it staring at me, dog. Which one of them phones ringing? This one. I see you found your way to the blue room. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding it. Y'all, I wasn't walking to that way, shit. I forgot to mention who I am. Just call me the operator for now. It's not an official name, but I find it quite catchy. Okay. You're making great progress so far. We've been having some issues with the lights recently, so you'll need a flashlight. There's one in the next room on a table, next to a radio. It'll be quite handy in the upcoming areas. I know that this may not be what you expected, but the truth is, there are many versions of life after death, and God's basement is one of them. So is this the bad one? Ignore it to the best of your ability. 
You know what? I'll talk to you again in the next room after you retrieve the flashlight. Good luck. You're not doing a good job with guiding me, man, but I want to say that this man bullshit and the stuff that I'm ignoring that he's saying ignore is not to be ignored, man. I think it's real. I think this shit's real. This shit is real. You saw that shit? It was just staring at me, bruh. Man, you got me fucked up. All right, I'm going. Let me read this real quick, like. So, dear mother, sorry I've been answering your call. I know it wasn't your fault, but losing Kevin and dad was taking a toll on all of us. I think Sarah and I just need some time to grieve and accept what happened and take care of your son, Neil. So who the hell is the woman that was closing the door in my face? Where the man at? Didn't he say he was going to help me when I got the flashlight? What? Okay. Oh, God. That, that flashlight turned slow as dick. I ain't going back in there. Can I leave? Can I leave? No, I don't think I'm supposed to come back this way, man. I got the flashlight, but dude ain't tell me nothing. I'm guessing that I'm supposed to go back in this room and it's supposed to be something in here. Something, a key card? I see you found a flashlight. Oh, okay, here we go. I was supposed to interact. Things can get quite dangerous. Your memories from your past life are still probably blurry, but they'll start coming back shortly. Wait, so what you mean? For the time what you mean stuff gonna be dangerous? Down through the hallway. I highly advise you not to spend too much time looking around. If anything makes an attempt to get your attention, ignore it to the best of your Okay, ability. you know what? Um, if you see anything or anyone approach you, do whatever is necessary. Oh, no, I don't want to play this bullshit. Most importantly, do not, I repeat, do not acknowledge their existence. If you follow these guidelines, you should be just fine. You saying that, but... I don't want to play this bullshit. This game sounds scary as fuck. Can I just take a seat? Now why the hell did it take such a long time to open the damn door, man? You're supposed to be God, right? The operator? I'm guessing that's cold name for God. Because you operating under everything. This nigga got me standing in the dark by myself. And I got to ignore everything. How hard? It's, it's hard to ignore danger. I wish you would hurry the fuck up. Like, ain't nothing happening. Ain't no notes around here that I can read. Just, just that locked door, man. Oh, shit! I'm not going over there. I can't believe I tried to go over there, man. Oh, oh, I'm going. Fuck that. Oh, no. All right, fuck it. He said ignore everything. I ain't looking at shit. He said best not to look around. Just go. Lock. All right, fuck it. I'm leaving. I'm gone. I ain't looking at nothing. Oh, no. I fucked it. I fucked it. It's locked. I fucked it. Oh fuck, oh fuck, I fucked it. I fucked it. Oh, I'm stuck. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. Oh shit! Oh no! Fuck! Fuck it! No! No! Fuck no! Hold up! No! 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 Hell no! I had to get my girl to come, could just come stand by me and sit by me and watch me play this damn game because I can't play it by my fucking self. It's just, it's bad. It's bad. I can't do it. So I'm in this shit with her. Like I dead ass can't play this by myself. 
I don't know what the hell that thing was that was making that damn noise, but that was a bunch of bullshit. What the hell was that? Oh, I thought I saw some walk. Okay, so it came. Oh, that's a. What the fuck is that? Wait, didn't they say? Didn't they say ignore everything? You better open that door. Did it go around? Oh! Oh, that's open. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm actually going in. I wasn't trying to go in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. He said don't look around. No, he said don't watch anything. I'm not supposed to be in this room. The only survivor was the grandmother of the infant child. Although she suffered major injuries, she is currently in stable condition. So who is that lady? Yeah. But why is she why is she dead? That alcohol might have been involved in the incident. But she looked dead as fuck. But she, I'm playing as the son. Or the I'm playing as the son and I'm dead. They already told me that. Okay. I'm out of this bitch. Thanks for the story. Oh, it's dark. Okay, so they said everything that's wrong with this game, ignore it. And everything that's right don't exist because it ain't nothing right in this damn game. Why did I just try and open the red room? Open the door. Is she getting close? She getting close. Open the door. Open the door. I ain't going over there. I better open this door. Fuck it. I'm going. Oh, shit! Oh, I'm alive. That wasn't that damn bad. That wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. The way she was running at me was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Whew. All right, you know what? It's crazy what a little bit of company can do for you, man. I'm doing a lot better in this game. I was not having a fun time playing this. James, I'm glad you made it out. Unfortunately, this concludes the demo to God. No, that's the end of the demo. Hopefully you enjoyed the experience. Hold up, hold up. If you wish to support this project, there are several ways. Share it with your friends and add God's Basement to your Steam wish list. Hopefully, I will see you again once the full game releases. To exit to the main menu, press the green button on the table. All right, well, I'm pressing it now. Anyway, before I press it, thank you so much for joining me. She didn't see everything else that happened, but at least she saw that one part. I felt safe. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. You, you saved my life a bunch. A bunch. But anyway, that was God's Basement demo. Hope y'all enjoyed it. This game was fun as all hell. Second scariest game I done played, man. No, I don't know. Wait. First of all, from the little bit that you saw, was it scarier than Infliction? She said it was scarier than Infliction. I kind of got to agree. And she didn't even see the rest of it. The game just had me on edge the whole time. Who the hell was that lady? She said it was the grandmother, but they said the grandmother lived. She was in stable condition. So, was that the mom? Which is bullshit, because the mom was alive. So, who the hell was that? Unless it was just some dead lady. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, I was playing as James Young, but what the hell does James have to do with this game? Why is he dead? What is his past dealing with? I don't know, but that's where the real game come in, so... It's one of them games that I'm going to have to play when it come out. And like I said, it come out in October. So y'all look forward to it, man. I'm going to play it, no doubt. If you want to try this demo, check the link. If you want to support them, I think they got a Kickstarter or something like that going on. I'll leave a link for that if it's up somewhere. But that's pretty much it. Again, thank you. Appreciate that. She didn't have to do it, but she did it. But thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.